and welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Latoya and this is Dual Purpose. If this is not your first time, as always, thank you for watching. And if you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button below and the bell icon so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. So a couple of months ago, I posted a vlog because I attended a book launch for a book called Against All Odds, I'm Still Here. What advice would you give nowadays um, for the generation out there who may be lost, who may be where you were years ago? I lose a lot of my friends. Even now, a lot of my friends is still in prison doing life sentence. A lot of my friends is in the grave. So I'm telling you, the crime that you're doing is not hit. The only thing that you need in your life right now is Jesus. And it's written by Earl and Norma Morgan. If you haven't already got your copy, there is a link in the description of this video where you can purchase your copy of the book. And I definitely would recommend that you do purchase a copy of the book. Um, so I also said that I would do a review of the book and life has been so busy over the last couple of months So unfortunately, this is the first opportunity that I've really had to do a review of this book And I figured the best way would just be to say three things that I took away from this book There were more but I'll just narrow it down to keep the video short to three things that I took away So the first one is that it really doesn't matter how far you think you've gone God is just waiting with loving arms to welcome you back and to let you know that he was there all along. As you read this book, L. Morgan went through some traumatic experiences in his youth that led him to turn to gangs, crimes, um, clubbing and that sort of thing, that sort of lifestyle. And you know, as you read through the book, you get an account of some of the experiences that he had. but. Ultimately what comes through is that no matter how far he went or how far he felt he had gone, the love of God was there the whole time and God was just waiting for him to surrender his life to Jesus so that he could use him as he is using him now. The second thing that I took away is that if you intend to get married, it is crucial that you marry a man of God or a woman of God. Because in this book, L. Morgan talks about times when he was weak, and that's physically weak, spiritually weak, emotionally weak. And he boasts about how his wife really supported him through that. And when I say boasts, I mean he just loves on her in this book and really thanks her for her support throughout the years. And he says that sometimes, you know, when he was weak, she would encourage him in prayer. She would encourage him with a scripture. And I believe that there are times also in her life where he has done the same for her. So I really took that away that it's so important that you find somebody who has faith in God, has a relationship with God, because when one person is weak, the other person can then strengthen that person and encourage them in the Lord. And the third and final thing I'll mention in this video that I took away from this book is that God is so powerful, he can turn what looks like a mess into a powerful message. And as you begin to read this book, as I said, there are accounts where Earl Morgan found himself in some very tricky situations. He nearly lost his life out there in the streets, in the wrong crowd, in the wrong place, at the wrong time, doing the wrong things. And as you read through the book, you see that he faced some health challenges as well, as well as some other personal circumstances. I won't ruin it for you. But you know, at the start of this book, it looks like this young man is a lost cause. What can come of his life? But as you get towards the end of the book, you realize how the grace of God changed his mess into a message. And now he is an evangelist, he's out in the streets, witnessing to people, young and old, and just telling people there is a better way, there is a different life. Young man, young woman, you don't have to be a part of this gang, you don't have to be involved in drugs and all of that sort of thing. Let me introduce you to the man named Jesus who changed my life. And I just think it's amazing how God can take somebody from the streets and then send them back in the streets with a completely different life-changing message. So for me, they are the three things that I took away, the three main things that I took away from this book. I would urge you to get a copy. It's not a very thick book, so it's definitely a quick read, but it is definitely a book that you want to read this year. Click the link in the description of this video to purchase your copy. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.